Hello everyone, welcome back to Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you all for stopping by the channel. To start, to start off with, if you could, please like and subscribe, share the videos with your bearded friends. I truly appreciate all the support I get. Uh, today's company we'll be discussing on this episode is Avocado Beer Co. out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Please stand by after the short introduction short introduction and I'll jump right into the review. Alright, welcome back and again thank you all for stopping by the, my channel, um, checking out my videos and just taking time out of your day to um, look at my reviews and spend time with me. Again, I truly appreciate all the support I get. Today's company again is Avocado Beard Co. out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Their owner's name is Jared Kozak. Uh, he founded the company in 2021 with a, mis a mission and business vision to provide men with a, the absolute best in all natural hair, skin, and beard products on the market and also make it simple to take care of their beards while smelling great doing it. Uh, avocado oil is one of the best oils on the market for your hair and skin. It is, it's featured in every single product that Jared sells. Uh, one of their new developments also is the world's first all-in-one beard brush with built-in oil. They offer beard oils, balms, beard butters, beard and mustache wax, um, a product that's kind of a hybrid of oil, butter, and balm named Green Bear Goo. Um, they also have boar bristle brushes, beard wash, hair wash, beard straighteners, beard combs. Um, the, of course, avocado beard brush that I'll be reviewing here at the end, uh, well, throughout the video, uh, that is Jared's unique. Uh, development that he created himself. Also tattoo cream, skin creams, facial serum, facial serum uh, body butters, soap bars, microderm rollers, pre-sun tattoo treatment, and he also of course has some also awesome avocado bear coat swag. So again at the end of the video if you could look in uh, the, the, the description I'll leave a direct link to their shop below. Please give Jared's products a try. I promise you, you won't regret it. Um, the first product we'll be talking about is their one ounce beard oils. The one ounce beard oils run you $18 on Jared's website. Um, the industry average being around $15 to $20, so this is an absolute great deal. Runs right in the median of the average costs across the board throughout the beard game. Um, comes in eight different scent profiles at the time of this video, two of which I'll actually be reviewing today. The bottle is a, a nice glass amber bottle that we're all used to. Uh, has the uh, black screw off screw on top, and it's actually a um, sprayer bottle lid instead of the dropper that everybody's used to. Um, the labels are nice and simple, easy to read. They have an awesome logo as well. I'd like to point out that avocado with the ginger beard is just awesome looking. Um, gives you the scent profile here on the front with the one ounce volume. At the top on the other side, it tells you about um, directions for use, ingredients list, and of course their website. So straight to the point, easy to read. I uh, also think he hand writes uh, data production on the bottle as well. <clears throat> the ingredients within the oils here are avocado oil, jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, hemp seed oil, grape seed oil, apricot seed oil, argan oil, metafoam seed oil, vitamin E, and essential oils for their fragrance blends. Um, <clears throat> the consistency of the oil Let's see if I can get some out here. Yeah, there's some here in this little tube here that drops down into the bottle. It is an, pretty much a clear oil. Doesn't really have much color to it whatsoever. Um, it's a nice and light oil. Um, really absorbs into your beer nicely. 
uh, works really well at keeping it moisturized. And again, avocado oil <clears throat> is one of the best oils out there to uh, keep your beard moisturized. And um, therefore, this is why Jared decided to base his entire company on this. Uh, just an awesome beard oil uh, as far as the uh, carrier, carrier oil blends that he uses in this product. Um, the two scent profiles that I have, the first one in the one ounce container is a ocean breeze scent profile. It, it's described as cool rain, ocean breeze, and sweet orange. Upon opening the bottle, it's a, it's a nice light fragrance, but immediately you get that sense of kind of being outside in the rain. I think I've never had the pleasure of kind of being down by the beach during a rainstorm, um, but it, it, if I were to experience, I feel like this is what it would smell like. It's not like that typical, when you hear about the ocean, you kind of think of like a pina colada scent. That's not the case with this. Um, it's simply the air around you when you visit a beach, um, kind of that breeze hitting your face with tones of that uh, salt water fragrance, um, touching your nostrils, uh, just a great scent and really allows you to use your imagination of what you're experiencing. I just, like I said, in my head when I smell this fragrance, um, it's as if I'm sitting by the coastline, uh, rainstorms coming in, and just that salt water and the beach air hitting your nostrils. That's what this gives me uh, an imagery of in my head. Again, that's the ocean breeze scent profile. Uh, awesome scent and uh, I really like kind of the imagery that it gives off in your head. Um, so awesome take and I do like that they didn't go with that typical beachy pina colada coconutty type fragrance profile. That's pretty cool. Um, the second profile and it is not labeled but from the scent profile list on his website I believe I was able to obtain kind of the, uh, at least I guessed what the scent profile of this is. Um, the, this is a, uh, let me see, a 10 milliliter volume uh, beard oil container that actually goes in with his invention, the avocado beard brush, which we'll talk about here shortly. Um, but this 10 milliliter um, is, same um, same ingredients list, but the scent profile, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the Carolina Breeze. This is the Ocean Breeze. I believe this is the uh, Carolina Breeze. Um, the Carolina Breeze is a cool water cologne, sweet tobacco, and sweet gardenia profile. When smelling this one, it it, it definitely is much stronger than the Ocean Breeze scent profile. You definitely get those 90 vibes of a cool water cologne. And what the profile is, is cool water cologne, sweet tobacco, and sweet gardenia again. Um, it's like a, almost like a cool water cologne with his own personal twist on it for Jared. Um, you get the 90 vibes of just a classic clean cologne with some powdery notes. And then on the back end, you almost get a little bit of a, uh, a floral hit. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, and again, this wasn't labeled when I received the products, but I do believe this is the Carolina Breeze. Um, it's a cool water with some notes of like that powdery scent. Um, then a little bit of the sweet tobacco with some floral notes. Uh, it's very interesting, very complex, and uh, stronger than the Ocean Breeze. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice and unique take on a classic cologne fragrance. Awesome profile, and in all honesty, between the two, I probably would give it my favorite to the Carolina Breeze over the 
um, ocean breeze. That's just my take. Um, it, it's just a personal preference. The one thing about this one, though, that I really liked is just that imagery that you get as soon as you put it in beer. Uh, reminds you of being right down by the beach. This one is just kind of that cool, clean, collected cologne fragrance from the 90s with some powdery notes mixed in with some floral uh, and a little bit of that sweet tobacco on the back end. There's a lot going on in this fragrance. Uh, and I think that's why it it is nice to me, uh, kind of my favorite of the two, just because of how unique and complex everything is blended with this one. Um, scent profiles um, last around about three to four hours for the uh, Carolina Breeze. Uh, for the Ocean Breeze, probably about two to three hours. It's a little lighter. Um, they both work really well in your beard, absorb well into your hair follicles. Um, keep, keeps your beard moisturized, uh, adds, a, adds a little bit of shine and shimmer, uh, and, I, and you're able to, to kind of tame your mane, if you will, a little bit. Um, again, oil's not used as a balm or anything to style your beard, but it, um, it, it, especially first thing in the morning when you're waking out of bed, you don't want to look a complete mess. Um, this, this oil does work well. It kept my beard nice and soft and easy to manage throughout the day. Uh, the second item we'll talk about is the avocado beard brush. And again, this is the one with the 10 milliliter oil with it. And um, before I describe it, I'll just kind of show you a brief overview of what it looks like. Uh, it's a 3D printed avocado with a boar head br uh, a boar bristle brush on the front. And uh, on the back end, it has a 10 milliliter oil with a magnet on the bottom that attaches right in there. Um, so literally, it's an all-in-one uh, instrument, and this is Jared's invention himself. Um, this is a one-of-a-kind item. There's nothing out there on the market to compare it to, but I will tell you this is $25. Um, so you're getting a brush, an oil and uh, some interesting looks for some people probably just uh, pop, carrying that around just an avocado in your hand but I must say I was thoroughly impressed with this uh, basically all you have to do is pull the top off that 10 milliliter container of your oil spray it in your beard brush it out with the cone and you're good to go uh, I mean it's that quick Give yourself 10 seconds in the morning if you're in a rush. Use this. Smell great, feel great, have no itchiness or dryness in your beard. You just simply can't go wrong. This is an absolutely an innovative idea in the beard game. You won't see it anywhere else. This is just simply awesome. Um, again, this is 3D printed, I believe, um, with plastic. It holds the bore bristle brush in place in the front, and then at the same time, your beard oil's on the back end. Um, it includes the 10 milliliter uh, oil spray. It is refillable. All you have to do is unscrew that. You can replace it with another avocado beard oil, um, pour a little bit in it, or of course you can get a 10 milliliter refill from directly from avocado beard themselves. Um, I did see a post on Instagram from Jared that it looks like he actually has a newer version or an updated version of this. And don't quote me on this, but from what I was able to just see for myself, I, it appears that he's taken the avocado and 3D printed it like, a, like it's hollow on the inside and it's used as like an oil tank, if you will. You're able to refill it with oil and it just has like a screw off uh, spray top to it so it's all in line. I like that idea even better than this one. Um, there's nothing wrong with this one. The only like, and this is just me kind of nitpicking, is if you can hear it, the oil does rattle just a little bit. I mean it does stay in place with that magnet but it does move around a little. The innovation of the tank on the back of it with a, just a spray top, I think that's awesome. And I, if I'm not mistaken, 
I think that is the going to be the up and coming new version of the auto, avocado beer brush. Jared, feel free to comment. Um, if I didn't get that correct, but from what I could gather, it looked like that was the new innovation of this item. Uh, I think that's awesome, and I think that is uh, a really nice improvement. Uh, I think that can continue to grow this item for sure. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, I don't believe he has the newer version up for sale yet. I believe it's the classic version of the avocado bear brush. Um, however, check out the Instagram just to see that. I think it's an awesome idea for sure. And again, a boar, uh, boar bristle brush on the front, avocado on the back that holds your beard oil in place. Spray, um, comb your beard, brush it, you're good to go. 10 seconds and you're out the door. I think that's awesome. And again, this is a $25 item, but you won't find it anywhere else. Um, the second or the third item I'll be reviewing is their moisturizing sunscreen. This is a two ounce container of sunscreen SPS, excuse me, SPF 35, um, and it's in the refreshed fragrance blend. Let's see. Um, this uh, two ounce sunscreen will run you a $15. Um, when I looked online, uh, didn't really find a whole, whole lot out there for um, just kind of like artisan blend sunscreens or anything. So this is also a unique idea that I haven't seen in a lot of other companies out there. Um, when you consider like, for instance, stuff that you can get at the store like at Walmart, uh, I think a banana boat uh, at Walmart runs you about $10. Um, but that's packed full of harmful chemicals and stuff of that nature. So really for $15, all natural ingredients and uh, being able to protect your skin from the sun, this is an awesome deal. Uh, it comes in uh, seven different scent profiles at the time of this video, the one I'll have here to review. Uh, it's a, plastic, uh, a clear plastic container uh, with a clear pop top. Um, the consistency of this is basically kind of like a sunscreen lotion that you'd expect it. Um, labels are very easy to read, um, just clean and clear like the others. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention, um, which I... Okay, so it's not an issue on the oil, but with this one and the one of the other items I'll discuss here in a minute. Um, if you can't see that, the writing on the ingredients in this is very, very tiny. It's pretty difficult to read. I could probably actually read it on my camera better than I can in person. Um, the only, you have a little bit of space here on the label. What I prefer, just, and this is just my personal preference, if they made that box a little bigger on the label and um, uh, boosted the size of the text in the ingredients list. I think that would be awesome. Um, the ingredients of the uh, sunscreen, and again, I'll try to read it as best I can. Uh, shea butter, avocado oil, avocado butter, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sunflower seed oil, aloe vera butter, zinc oxide, and essential oils for the fragrance. Um, the consistency is again uh, kind of your common uh, sunscreen lotion but probably a little thicker than the others just because it's not really as runny and it's more of a lotion type consistency uh, kind of a, a real thick creamy consistency uh, with a white collar to it. Um, the scent profile refreshed is a cucumber melon, lavender, and lemongrass. And you definitely get those cucumber melon vibes off of this. Um, it's a nice, sweet, light fragrance. You get a bit of the cucumber, uh, some lavender, just a little slight hint of it, and then the lemongrass on the back end I definitely pick up. Uh, it's a very unisex blend, in, in my opinion. The only thing is my wife can't use this item because she's actually allergic to the cucumber melon scent. 
Uh, she can't use anything lotion-wise, soap-wise, anything that's cucumber melon. Um, but I did try this out just kind of working around the house in the sun, um, and it worked out really, really well. Um, it, you're able to protect your skin, smell great, and not have to deal with worrying about the harsh chemicals that you're actually putting on your skin. So again, awesome product and a unique product that you don't really see in the beard game or within a beard company providing sunscreen. So really cool product. Uh, the next item we'll talk about is their two ounce beard bombs. The two ounce beard bombs uh, run you $18, industry average being around $15 to $20. So again, this is really a great deal. It runs smack dab in the middle of the average. Um, comes in eight different scent profiles at the time of this video, the one I'll be reviewing today. Um, labels are nice and simple, easy to read. I did like the um, size of the text on this label. It was just really, really easy to read. Um, and again, their awesome avocado logo with the ginger beer there. Um, the container is just a common plastic clear uh, container with a black screw off top. The consistency of the bomb is um, very similar to what you'd expect. It has a little bit of granule in it, um, but it emulsifies really well into your beer, or excuse me, into your hand um, to liquefy it and get it into your beer. Uh, works really well. Um, and of course, beard bombs, it does hold your beard well. and. The ingredients in this is shea butter, cocoa butter, avocado oil, beeswax, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, and essential oil blend. Um, with the beeswax, just like any other beeswax bomb, works really well at sculpting your beard and um, styling it the way you see fit. Um, I'm not usually a beard bomb fan. I'm more of a beard butter guy, um, which will run into a, another um, item that I actually prefer over the bomb. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the bomb, just uh, easy to use, moisturizes while also being able to style. I just usually per personally prefer my beard to have its natural look. Um, I just kind of comb it and let it go. Um, but again, nice bomb. Uh, this is also, of course, in that ocean breeze scent profile. Again, you get that imagery of being down by the coastline and the salt water hitting your face, you're able to smell that. And that's truly what you imagine with this. Just a, a great scent, great bomb. Again, I'm just not a huge bomb guy myself. Uh, definitely, if you enjoy bombs, all natural ingredients with beeswax, check this one out. You can't go wrong. Uh, the next item that we'll talk about is their, their own unique product. It's called Green Beer Goo. You won't see that out there in, anywhere besides here. This is a hybrid between an oil, a butter, and a bomb. Uh, pretty unique. And again, it has that cool green uh, collar to it. Just real interesting to even look at. Uh, the name, the, the name, the collar, the consistency, it's all pretty neat. Uh, it's a two ounce bottle of this container. Um, industry average for kind of the Beer bomb, beer butter, frame of mind is around $15 to $20. This runs you $18. So again, just like the the, the bomb and the oil, this is a great find. Um, for the price point, you can't beat it. Um, bottle is a nice clear plastic container with a, a clear plastic pop top. Um, the consistency of this, it is a very creamy, product uh, where you get that mix of the bomb, the butter, and the oil. It is a creamy product and again there wasn't nothing wrong with this. I'm just not really a bomb dude. Um, the green bear goo is pretty cool. I really enjoy it. Uh, it actually only comes in one scent profile um, and that is in its own profile with African green musk, patchouli, and Roman chamomile. So it has its own unique profile. Uh, it's it's pretty good. Um, 
kind of a mild tone, a little bit of earthy. Um, you, you get a little bit of the musk in there, uh, but truly it's kind of an earthy brand, blend to it. The only critique that I would like to see in this is um, offer different scent profiles. I think that would be a, a nice touch to this one. Uh, if it was a green bear goo and the Carolina breeze scent, I would jump right on it. That, that's awesome. There's nothing wrong with this one. Um, it's just a real earthy fragrance to it. Um, I just personally prefer the Carolina breeze over it, or even the ocean breeze. I think that's a nice blend too. Um, the ingredients in this, and again, this is the other product I was talking about. The typing for the ingredients is just really, really small. I feel like they, if they can move this up a little bit, make this box bigger and make the, the, the uh, text bigger, it would be a nicer profile or a, a um, nicer, nicer labor just, label just for the consumer. Just a thought. Um, the scent in beer lasts around one to two hours, really keeps my beard moisturized, absorbs real well. Um, I use this as like a nighttime product. Um, really made my beard soft when I woke up in the morning, was able to comb right through it with no knots. Um, just a really nice product overall. It does have, um, let's see, so the ingredients list is shea butter, avocado butter, avocado oil, vegetable glycerin, apricot kernel oil, vitamin E oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, beeswax, and essential oils. So it does have some of that waxy component to it from the beeswax, uh, similar to a bomb, but again, the consistency of it is very liquidy. Um, it does provide maybe a little bit of hold, but it's more so focused on the moisturizing and the um, kind of that keeping your beard moisturized and tamed um, type of a, a ingredient. And again, really worked well. Um, I was surprised by it. My beard felt awesome the next morning when I put it in beer before bed. And um, again, the only maybe constructive criticism I would offer is uh, it would be nice just to kind of see this in other scent profiles uh, that you'd have a selection similar to what you do in the beard oils and the beard balm. I just, I think that would be a nice touch and maybe a development for the future. Um, but again, really nice product. Uh, the Green Beard Goo. So again, guys, um, that's basically what I have from the Avocado uh, Beard Co. All of his products, of course, are focused around an avocado. I'm really excited to see where Jared takes this company for the future. Uh, the uh, carrier oil blend that he uses, the use of the avocado in every single product he makes, the innovations and technology that he's personally developing um, to make having a beard for the man just that much easier. Sometimes having a beard, it can get a little painstaking sometimes. And uh, Jared's taking a step forward to make that that much easier for us. Uh, so Jared, from myself, I would like to say thank you for keeping the bearded man in mind and making our lives a lot easier because you know in these times and days we all need it. Um, I really enjoy the brand vision, the way that he stays true to the ingredients across all of the products, the focus on new developments and new technologies and innovation within the beard game, and just the mindset of this company is top notch. Uh, I feel that they're going to continue to grow at a rapid pace, leaps and bounds in the future. And because of this um, and their wonderful ideas, I really think um, this company is gonna boom throughout the future. Uh, definitely give their products a try. Check out Jared's website. Um, the website is avocadobeardco.com. I'll leave a link in the description below direct, uh, directly to their shop. Also, check them out. They're on Facebook and Instagram. And again, guys, like always, 
tell Avocado Bear Co. and Jared that I sent you. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel. Please subscribe and I uh, look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. Take care.